Hey guys, I got back from Walmart today. Um, I'm going to go to Aldi and get some more items. We were out of a lot of um, other stuff. Um, I'm filming, bro. No, you're not going to get that. And then you didn't want that pear that daddy gave you. Jason over here cutting up um, peaches and pears. No, you're not going to get that. You already had one. That's enough. Okay, so I don't have that many items here. Um, just want to share this right quick. What he say? So um, I picked up some Sensodyne um, Rapid Relief. Uh, this is the extra, extra fresh. I never tried this before. Let me face this. What I'm gonna say? This was 5.47. I have tried this before. Actually, this was the sample size. This exact same size that they gave us gave me at the dentist. And um, I needed it because I was having, I had a cavity. And so when they filled it, they didn't file it down right. So it was um, giving me pressure. I don't know. I was giving me pressure and sensitivity. So they gave me this and this stuff really works. I feel like it's old people toothbrush, toothpaste, but I love it. And um, I peaked, I just went with what I they gave me. So Jason's also using this too, but this stuff is expensive. But mama said the kind from Dollar Tree is just as good. Okay, go really fast, guys, because my battery is blinking. I didn't, I didn't even charge it. But um, I'm also going to go to Aldi, and then I'm going to add that to this. I'm definitely going to do that. Picked up some Cherry Zero, some Tartar Control, Blue Mint. I really like this. It's like $3 and something. I wanted to try the Snuggle Exhilarations, Lavender and um, Vanilla Orchard. I haven't tried this before. And then I picked up the 70 Sheets. Um, exhilaration fabric softener sheets. Josiah saw these, they were at eye level. I was looking for the maple Thomas Maple bagels, and they did not have them, so I may have to go to Food Line. Um, they didn't have it in that Walmart. I was shocked. So, Josiah wanted these, and you get eight in a pack, and everybody already had some except me. I don't like that. <laughs> the Tide Simply and Fresh. This time, I picked up the day break fresh and it's like eight dollars almost nine dollars i picked up some coats they didn't have any ivory i've been picking that up for jj and we was out of soap so everybody was using ivory and um body wash um i also picked up the better homes and garden two-piece trivet set it was on clearance they had a lot of um end cap stuff well, a lot of clearance stuff and a lot of pioneer stuff that was marked down mama and i noticed that they are starting to put their stuff on the end caps like Target. But that's why I got this because I always need something to put a hot pot on. It was $4.50 clearance. These were clearance. I got Josiah two of these because I really haven't bought him anything like this. And you get a bowl, a plate, and cup for $3 on clearance. And then these, he saw these first for $2.50. And Josiah is such a picky eater. We're trying to get him to get the pears. And he ended up spitting it out right before I hit um, film. I mean, um, hit the record button, but he is so picky. And I said, are you going to eat if we get this? Cause it's like, I would be worried if he was my first child, but all of them were like super picky. And it was like certain things that they ate all the time. And that was all they ate. And then now they eat us out of house and home. Um, I picked up this lamp. I, this is my second one. And mom was like, you like the little cheap lamps, but they give out so much light. And I do need to get some kind of better lighting in my craft room. So I need this in the corner. And they're only like $8, $7 and some change. I picked up some distilled water. I needed that. You guys know, I guess no shame or I don't really care. Um, I'm on a CPAP machine. So I need my distilled water and I've been out. And I learned the hard way not to keeps distilled water <laughs> also I picked up some of this um, chalk paint it's called ballet slipper I wanted to try painting a painting already instead of buying a new one so I just picked up the small one to see and then I picked up some paint brushes because I also wanted to paint um, a couple of pumpkins and also for that picture I also needed a deluxe kitchen sink strainer and I can't remember if I had one in this house or not but I can't remember how much this is. I think it was $1.97. And then they're still restocking a lot of stuff, guys, from the hurricane. So they're still out of a lot of canned goods. And But I wanted to get some pears. And Jason actually got like, um, it's over here. 
Jason actually got like pears and peaches and apples. But I am really finicky. Um, not finicky when it comes to fruit. I can eat fruit, but I don't like eat all the fruit. So I like these apples, but Jason doesn't. And I noticed that Walmart doesn't have um the dull ones anymore. They started cutting up their own. I really hated to get this, but Josiah and I eat it better if it's already cut up. And it was like five dollars. I know guys. But um they're replenishing from the hurricane. So I eat it better if it's in the can and I just got the no sugar added. They didn't have a lot. Um, I was going to get some peaches the same way and fruit the same way. So I will eat a lot of other fruits, but some of them I don't really care for or really not explored. And I hate that. And that's probably why my kids are so picky because of that reason alone. Because <laughs> I didn't realize that pears, the whole pear, because I always ate pears like this, um, was was that soft but Jason said they're not always that soft it's just that one or those that he has now I picked up two of these better homes and garden storage bins my mama has the really premium ones which are the ones kind of like these but they have like a little circle and then a little um, handle little thin handle that you can pull and I haven't seen those online or anything she said she wondering are those discontinuing but um I had these already and I needed it for my little I make sure I link the video above um when I was doing the haul and the little organizer five cube organizer better homes and garden I got that I show in another video and I needed this for that so I picked up two of these these were 547 I believe which are cheaper and this one was 996 I know a lot but I needed it for my um, compartment over here let me just show you guys so <laughs> um, it's not all together so this will be like where our mail will be and so I already had this one already and I think that's I don't know now I'm looking at it I don't know if I'm gonna go with that or just put that somewhere else I don't know but um this is just some stuff I just stuck there. But I got, this is Better Homes and Garden as well. Okay, and lastly, guys, I normally don't show clothes or anything in my hauls, which I probably should. But um, they're marking down a lot of clothes because it's going into the fall season. These were $3. So I was able to get nine pieces of clothing for $27 and something. And um, this was a 2X. Was it 2X? I, I got a 2X. I probably should have got a 1X now. Think about it. But, um, yeah, that was $3. This one is a 1X, and their 1X are like 16 or 18 women's. And it's terracotta and sky. And then these are like some workout shorts. These look like they're really wide and um, comfortable, long enough over my leg. Or I should say my thigh. And then here are like some workout short shirts. And I like how it gathers right there. You can wear it. It will cover up my booty <laughs> when I am, if I'm wearing some leggings or my tight capri workout pants, yoga pants, whatever they call them. So I got two of those. Those are $3. And then these pants too. And then they had a lot of other shorts, but I ended up putting them back because they were a little short. Though I can wear them short but i'm self-conscious of the inner part of my thigh so um i got these two that were three dollars and these have like elastic in the waist and these are uh, 16 18w 1x so i didn't try them on um if i kept working out or whatever i probably be in a 14w but that's my goal to get in a 14w and then this shirt as well let's see this shirt as well guys it looks just like the this shirt here um trying to do this i don't normally show clothes and then they had like a pink one so it was three dollars um so you couldn't be that 27 dollars and something so that is all that i picked up i did pick up two items from kirkland's let's see if i have enough battery life okay the light is probably darker over here i picked up this gather canvas sign it was on sale Labor Day for $40 and also today. So this was the last one. They did have them online. I don't know if they're going to get them back. But you can check your local store to see if they have them. And then I saw this on the email as well. These were $19.99. I think they had a 
white color but i thought this was a better contrast and these are like two canvas prints they originally were 59 dollars and they were 19.99 and the other white one they don't have a picture on here it was 39 29 i think because he said it sell better but this one looked better but i was looking for some shutters faux shutters um at michael's but when i saw these were 19 dollars for one i went with these so that is all guys i will make sure i add the aldi haul to this and um i just said i'll go ahead and add this in with it okay guys i am back from aldi and i was actually putting this off like two days i don't know why and i guess i'm kind of in a grocery rut but i really need to read my own blog post about how to get out of a grocery rut i felt like i was making i was making the same things over and over again so i started so i needed some inspiration i went on pinterest and where else i go i think i just did a google search on what i wanted to cook i wanted to make some more easier meals but they i'll just have to see but I wanted to use like a crock pot or my kasori, which is like an instant pot. So I did get two to three meals that are instant pot. But now we seem like we have a lot of leftovers. And especially if Jason's doing like the intermittent fasting or if I'm doing it, it's a lot of food left over because again, um, trail's not here. So I left off at Walmart and guys, let me know. I know lately my videos probably over a year now, they're like long, like over, over 20 minutes. So if that bothers you, let me know. Um, and I'll try to make them shorter cause I'm going to add two other things to this haul. I don't know. I'm, I might not. But anyway, I left off on Walmart and I had to go on Walmart because they didn't have everything that I needed at Aldi and they still didn't have it at Walmart. So I needed a lime and I think they had that at Aldi and these were kind of small, but I must have skipped over that and I needed some coleslaw. I didn't have any at Aldi at all. And then um, I wanted some of the Roger Wood hot sausage and i can't remember which one we have two that are close together i got that at and they didn't have any in the hot they had in the regular but aldi sells the regular too and i should have got it there so i ended up picking up the beef hot links and we like to just put these in the air fryer for like for a couple minutes and make them um last time you guys saw this haul or the first part, I picked these up. They already done ate them, so I picked them up some more because Josiah asked for some more. Um, the whole carrots, I picked this up for, which I showed the meal plan in one second. Sorry, there's a lot of wrestling. Um, JJ's taking out the trash. Um, some white distilled vinegar, I needed some more. So I just picked up the big thing. I can't remember if Aldi sells the big thing or not. I don't know. Um, so starting from Aldi, I spent... $82 I believe too much more than I wanted to and I think it was mainly it was mainly the meats because I know the meats I was at $30 just the meats alone so I picked up some celery some green onions some yellow onions some Mexican style cheese and this is like a dollar um, no! $0.85 $0.65 $1.99 a dollar some grape tomatoes some moo tubes I think these are like 139, 129. I needed some cream cheese, some black pepper. Black pepper is kind of high. It's like 259, and some sweet corn. I also picked up some bouillon cubes. I like to get these 169 versus a dollar and something for the carton already. So I just like to just get that instead. And the beef bouillon cubes, cinnamon applesauce. I probably should have got two because they really they go through it fast. Some ground ginger. I could not remember for the life of me if I had some. I should have checked for a recipe and some more onion powder. I go through that really quick. I need some more olive oil cooking spray. Some Worcestershire Sire sauce. Some raspberry lemonade. I picked up two. They're $1.49 because they go through them really quickly. The ranch dressing mix. And JJ asked for some t noodles, some noodles and noodles, so I got him that. And he said he liked all of them except, I think he said shrimp. 
And then I picked up some diced tomatoes with hot chilies. You know what? I think that recipe only said hot chilies. It was just so many people in the way. Today was a day that I just wish that the grocery store was all to myself. <laughs> I'll tell you. And then everybody goes to the grocery store on Sunday. Um, pitted olives, corn muffin mix. I picked up two of those. Some Kerrygold pure Irish butter. I was going to go ahead and get the other kind, but I got that. I picked up two of the beef stew. And I don't know if I'm the only one that just, just hates to pay for the price of meats, different cuts and stuff. Um, but, I don't know. Yeah. So then um, I picked up some spring mix for some salads. And then also some chicken breast. Uh, the frozen, they're $5.99. The beef stew, I'm sorry guys, is $4.99 a pound. So um, it was like $6.79 and $6.40 something, I believe. Yeah, $6.44. Some hot Italian sausage, I think it was $2.99. And some bacon center cut. And some 80 20 it was $6 and something. Some flour tortillas, some milk back there, some cheddar, sour cream, and nachos. And I picked these up because the other day, mom and I wanted some chips. Well, everybody did. And the really, you know, the medium sized bags that they have at the store, the, not the real small ones that are like a quarter or 50 cents. She was said that they, she believed that Lay's or whoever is going to start going up on the chips because they don't have the price on the side of the chips. And, um, that's a good indication for her that they're going to go up on the chips because if it's a price on it, they can't go up on it. So she said when Mama got her bag, I got the 50 cent bag. Um, it was $1.89 for a small bag. That's ridiculous. So just put these in some sandwich bags when you can get these for a dollar and nine cents and 80, 99 cents. That's crazy. Um, some chunky salsa some real bacon pieces and some light sour cream and then what you want man some batteries some batteries you gotta wait and then some boulder ultra paper towels and i think that's it guys that is it so let me show you the meal plan and i'll show what i picked up from i don't know we'll see the meal plan, let's see, I was doing something else, is for Monday, the Instant Pot um, beef stew with mashed potatoes, and then the Instant Pot egg roll bowls, but I could not find the um, egg roll wraps, so I guess you cook them up and make them flat, kind of like tortillas or something. Um, I think this is a low-carb recipe, if I recall. And, yeah, it's almost like crack slaw. I think that's what it's called that I made before. But um, I could not find that anywhere. The burrito bowls one day and then the cheesy, instant pot cheesy tacos. JJ only likes cheese on certain stuff, so I asked him would he care for that on his tacos. And he said, yeah. I was also looking for the green Tabasco sauce, and they didn't have that either. So I probably have to go somewhere like Food Line or Harris Teeter to get those items and also the main thing I went to Walmart for was I looking for the Thomas bagel maple French toast I cannot find that I went to two Walmarts can't find it and then Friday is whatever we probably still have leftovers and then Saturday or Sunday I'm not sure what Sunday is so I have those three probably two days I know will be leftovers because we'll have leftovers and then I need to um add some veggies in here usually I just pull something out a same with a bag of broccoli or um, whip some string beans together or something like that yeah this is what I was looking for I have two left but I had them for a good minute and I'm kind of funny about stuff it looks fine from the outside but I get real funny when and I had it in the refrigerator when it's um yeah so I guess the bread man probably will come tomorrow 
and hopefully i just don't feel like going to walmart for one thing but a lot of people do or i do all the time so this is from dollar tree this is nothing really spectacular so i'm gonna go ahead and add it on with this haul and then some few things i got from dollar general i did pick up another canvas picture i'm a sucker for these pictures put one of them on my gallery wall the other one i'm not sure yet but i like these and um this one says live simply and be grateful and it has like that wood finish and then begin each day with a grateful heart and then the other one said it matched my craft room mom cave i posted on instagram it's already upstairs so i try to remember to insert that picture and then also um, i picked up i needed some antibacterial liquid hand soap jj josiah likes this is used the other um tub finger paint soap so i picked this up for him just got him one i love this personal care quick dry antiperspirant spray it smells really good and um i probably should have picked up the men's for jj i needed some oven cleaner it's not the best as the name brand i can't think of what it is right now but um i need to clean off the top of my stove and it cleans it really good some comment um some glade for breeze bags and i'm gonna start getting these at um aldi because i looked at them today they're 4.99 but i like the fact that these are for breeze bags but i think they have scented bags too instead of buying those every time and then um I get these for our trash can in our bathroom upstairs because our other trash can takes a 33 gallon bag the one that's downstairs i picked up one of these micro usb cables for josiah's um devices so my child will rip he will rip guys this piece right here off he's done broke mine but jason found me another one i picked up some paper plates some paper cups and this is like the bonus pack so you get like four and i got a mess over here and then i picked up a duster for my craft room i probably have some but no i think i threw it out and then i'm getting confused because i know i bought a bunch of stuff for trail and i'm like are you cleaning your room and he's like yeah mama i was like did you vacuum and stuff like that um i broke i thought i got it from walmart but i might got it from dollar tree um a frame when i was decorating or cleaning up over there with jj's picture in it so i needed a new one so i picked up this eight by ten that's a new one with the wood finish it's okay um i think i got it from dollar tree and that's it guys that's it let me show you really quickly what i picked up from dollar general okay guys so lastly what i got from dollar general um i have been waiting on these items <laughs> i've been stalking the dollar tree not dollar tree dollar general for a week so maybe a week and a half so hurricane florence florence came through they were busy like crazy line to the hoopla i mean long line every time i went in there and then they had a pallet of well i call it a pallet but it was like a cart full of christmas stuff but it sat there for like three or four days like every day I will, not every day but every other day i'll go in there for a couple things and anyway they didn't have this stuff so making this house a home on instagram not on youtube but on instagram she posted these and i like following her feed and i love watching her insta stories because she's building like um a new house and i love her finishings um that she's picking because they're reasonable and just a lot of ideas that i didn't even think about or that i know now far as decorating and i just like seeing how her house is coming together because it's so exciting the whole process and then she posted these um red truck items so if your store gets these or stalk it because <laughs> they don't have that many like i saw this mat here they only had and it is not the best of mat but it's cute and i see a lot of people are getting like these mats and they're putting on top of they put them below it a buffalo check mat and i'm like where are they getting that from they're getting it from hobby lobby so i hope when i do go to hobby lobby they have some and they're doing it for fall halloween and christmas 
and probably any other time but these were five dollars they only had two of them so it was one left and then they had this ribbon this was the only one that was left so somebody else may have gotten there before me that's been on it i don't know who else is in my area i know one person but i don't know if she comes up here all the time but um this was super cute and this was two dollars and it's nine feet so that's the same feet that they have at dollar tree so i wish they go out at least to 12 feet i have to take note of that next time i go on michael's and stuff because you can make a bow out of this which i'm gonna make a video on um out of the dollar tree ribbon but you have to be careful because nine feet is long but it's not quite long enough to make a super big nice bow super super big bow okay talking too much um also she posted these little salt and pepper shakers super cute and they were two dollars and then i had plenty of these but then of these i think they had maybe three or two of each so um these were a dollar and dollar tree may get because sometimes they get similar stuff but um i'd usually just get one oven mitt and one pot holder because I usually use it for decoration and then I got two of the kitchen towels and I think they only had three of these for a dollar that's it guys <laughs> that I picked up also Dollar General sometimes has these coupons well this didn't cost but $13 but they have the coupons where at the end of the week on Saturday it's like five off of 25 and yeah so guys thanks so much for watching this may be long again let me know if you like them short long or if it don't bother you and also let me know what type of videos that you guys would like to see from me um so i kind of know what you guys like so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thanks so much for watching guys bye bye